A family forced to comprehend the worst. They comfort each other at the crime scene surrounding the factory where their loved one lies inside. He was a former police officer, a senior constable who served the force for 15 years before retiring from the special operations group with bad health. The father said that he rang his wife at 6 o'clock um, Wednesday night and said that um, to his wife, I'll be home in 20 minutes. But it's understood the victim, Dean McGrath's family, reported the 41-year-old missing yesterday morning before his parents came to the Governor Road industrial area yelling his name. Well, they were knocking on the factory door um, trying to get in there. But the family couldn't gain access to the building where Dean was later found. He just had tears in his eyes and he said, um, my son's missing, he's had an altercation with the fellows in the factory and I think they've murdered him. As a result of a 45-year-old male uh, handing himself into the Mordialic police station this morning, we've identified one deceased male uh, in a factory at the rear of this premises. Workers have told Nine News CCTV cameras captured a man on Wednesday walking past the factories where the victim was found. We're told he was seen hiding a metal pole underneath his clothing and at a different time cameras captured him wiping it down. Do we know what the cause of death is? We do not know at this stage. As I said, it's early, early in the investigation. Detectives established a second crime scene next door around a truck believed to be linked to the victim. Nine News understands it was found with keys still in the ignition, along with a wallet and phone. It is known that it's most likely that both parties were known to each other. Sad and sock about here because we don't think that um, it happened here, you know. So Workers nearby say they've seen police raid the factory four times in recent years. Forensics officers moving in late this afternoon. I went home last night hoping that the fellow was wrong, that his son would be OK, but looks like he's not. So, yeah, I feel horrible for the family. And live now to crime reporter Alexis Dash at Moorabbin Police Station, rather Mordialic Police Station. <laughs> Lexi, have any charges been laid there? Good evening to you, Pete. No, no charges have been laid as yet. Detectives are still interviewing that man in custody who presented himself here to the Mordialic Police Station this morning. We know that he is, as you've heard, a 45-year-old man, but we also know that he is from Melbourne's southeastern suburbs. And detectives tell me they have a long night ahead of them quizzing that man at the station here tonight. Regardless, though, the Homicide Squad is still urging anyone with any information at all about this tragic murder in Braveside to come forward and contact Crime Stoppers. Pete? See it first on Nine News with Peter Hitchin.